Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another great arcade game coin operated pinball machine video for you this evening. This is a cool 1975 electromechanical pinball machine from Gottlieb called Soccer. It's 1975. Back then, there were so few games that they could still uh, just call them basic names like Soccer. Nobody had made a Soccer. Um, or at least a, a soccer game named soccer yet. <laughs> so they got to do it. They also, this is a two player game. They also had a four player game called Super Soccer, which is the same game. It's just four players. But uh, we've actually had that before a few years ago. Um, but this is the only time we've ever had the two player one. Really cool game. Most of the Gottlibs back then were pretty fun. Even uh, if you don't uh, appreciate the. Uh, the theme it's a fun game we bought this locally off of a gentleman an operator along with tons of other pinball machines years ago and put it in storage because whenever we bought it horribly someone had broken the back glass so it was completely shattered into a million pieces all over the play field and it was sitting in his garage as an operator who had tons of other stuff so we bought probably hell I don't know 10 or 12 pinball machines from them including this one with the broken back glass and then we put it in storage and over the years we've always looked and tried to find a back glass and we finally found one a few months ago a guy had one on eBay and we bought it and it got shipped here in one piece and look it has finally found its way back into this cool game so I don't know when the guy broke the glass but we finally fixed it for him that that gentleman I'm talking about too, the operator, he's passed away since then. Since we bought these, he's been gone a few years. So his machine lives on though. Whenever we went through and, and worked it, it was actually in pretty good shape. Um, I don't know that he ever made much money off of this one because it, it didn't really have much. Uh, it didn't really have much play. It doesn't seem like because everything was in pretty good shape. There is a little wear on the playfield up here at the top around that kick out hole uh, in particular and then over here on this pot bumper you can see the dirt there I mean the the wear there what happens on these on the Gottlieb's it's different on on different ones but Gottlieb had this weird thing where they put like a piece of mylar ar around that underneath the skirt but they didn't glue it down so it's really weird it, it just kind of sits there and what happens is if the operator doesn't keep the play field clean little pieces of dirt and dust get underneath the mylar and then as the ball rolls over the mylar the dirt and dust grinds the the paint right off the play field so you end up with these badly worn spots underneath certain uh, skirts that it's, it's underneath that mylar piece we always cut that thing off uh, like we did on this one you can put a, a mylar piece on that glues down but we never replace it we just take it off for whatever reason it didn't on the other two but it wore pretty bad on that. Everything else looks pretty good though. There's a little bit of wear right there. And you know, there's minor wear all over it. But all in all, it looks pretty good. The uh, the cabinet's in pretty good shape. The artwork, you know, it's just stenciled, so it's pretty plain. Definitely not perfect, but it's pretty good. One of the one of the most interesting things that uh, about this particular machine and some of the other ones that, that some of the companies were doing at the time is they have these little features like this is called an animated back glass. So basically, during the game, you can uh, score a bonus. So the bonus kicks th this little ball up here, and it stops right there. And you can score up to 10 of them. So it can line up 10 balls right here. And then whenever you collect the bonus, it gives you like a 1,000 points or even more. I'll show you that here in a second um, as you collect them. And so basically what happens is the ball violently kind of kicks around this, and you actually kick it past the goalie and you get a thousand points for each ball. You can see where it's rubbed the back glass a little bit there, but it kind of blends in, no big deal. And I'll show you that uh, as we're playing it here in a few minutes. Another thing too, that ball is like turquoise colored. It's supposed to be red. Whenever they broke the back glass, apparently all the balls fell out of it and they are gone for forever more. So I got in touch with the good people at the Pinball Resource, uh, which has which carries tons of Gottlieb stuff and lots of electromechanical pinball stuff. They can get about anything. And they used to have those red balls, but they ran out of them. 
So all they had left were the turquoise ones. So I figured, well, let's go ahead and get the turquoise ones. Why not? Because they're the right size, the right weight, and all that. So it's the exact right ball, but it's the wrong color. But really, if you think about it, it's supposed to be a soccer ball. And soccer balls aren't turquoise, but they're also not red. So what's the big deal, right? If they were if they were originally white and black like they're supposed to be, then uh, yeah, maybe it'd be more important. But they were already the wrong damn color, so who cares? I guess the red ones you could see a little bit better. I don't know what game those turquoise ones are supposed to be for, but they're the you know they're the correct uh, size and everything. Maybe he just got a deal on on ones that were the same size and the same weight, but whatever. They work good and they look pretty good because there there's you know similar colors in the back glass, so we were happy to get them. So I will read over the you know we, I keep noticing this screw here. I haven't screwed down yet. That's our last thing we have to do, folks. I'll do that before we set up the tripod. Um, we'll go over the rules. This is a really kind of cool game because of one important little factor. I'll show you here in a second. All right. Now, remember, this is just like super soccer. Soccer instructions, one or two players, three balls per player. Now, you can have it set on five ball, too, if you want, but I always set all mine on three ball. Uh, whenever it's a five ball game, it just seems a little, I don't know. I just like them all on three ball. It doesn't last as long. Insert coin or press credit button to reset machine. Repeat for additional player. Player takes turns shooting as shown on back glass that are saying, you know, it'll tell you if it's the first player or second player by which score is illuminated and it will tell you the ball number up above that gentleman's head where it says ball on play. Points are scored as indicated. Exactly. So basically all of these lights and things on the play field will indicate how many points you get if you do that little thing right there. Now here's the cool part. The yellow hole scores a mystery of one, two, or three bonuses and 500, 1,000, or 1,500 points. So they have this thing, and to be honest, I haven't even figured out how they did it. But there, there are these two holes up here. This one says 1,000 points and scores bonus, which I'll talk about here in a minute. And this one says adds mystery bonus so there's a part of the machine you can see right here it says a hundred or when lit 500 and adds bonus so there's a part of the of the machine there's a relay in there that pulls in and it gives you 500 points and it adds bonus now if it adds bonus what it does is it kicks one of those balls up to the top so you get 500 points and the ball goes up which means that whenever the ball's over you're going to get a thousand points for that ball right so if you get this mystery bonus one sometimes it gives you 500 points and one ball sometimes it gives you 500 points and a ball and then does it again so you get a thousand and two balls and then sometimes it gives you it does it three times so it'll give you 500 points and a ball 500 points and a ball 500 points and a ball and then kick the ball out i, I fixed the thing i looked over the schematics I could not figure out how the hell they made that work, but it works. It works fine. So I don't even know if I can find the that part. Like there's a. Uh, let's see here. I'll show you the the part in the schematics, and maybe you guys can look at it and tell how they did it. Okay, so there is a 500 points and add bonus unit relay, right? Which is G. So whenever G goes, that's what makes it do that, right? And it'll sit there and do it three times sometimes, or two times sometimes, and one time other times. And it doesn't have anything to do with which ball it's on. So I thought maybe, oh, well, maybe they just got it where on the first ball it does it once, and on the second ball it does it twice, and on the third ball it does it three times. Nope. So there is the G relay for all of you schematics experts. And so I guess, you know, if it... So the one G holds it in, comes back over to here. It's all connected through motor one C. Doot, doot. So maybe you folks can figure out how in the world it's doing that. Oh, maybe it has to do with the, hmm. The AX, BX, CX relays. No, that's just on the that's just on the rollers. I don't know, but whenever you go in that 
in that ads mystery bonus hole. Sometimes it gives you one, sometimes it gives you two, sometimes it gives you three. And I can't figure out how they did it, but it works perfect. All I did was I went through and cleaned everything and that part already worked, so I didn't have to fix it or anything. As a matter of fact, I thought it was broke for a little bit because the ball would go in and it might stay a couple times before it kicked it out. So I thought something was wrong with it kicking it out, but that's how it's designed. So anyway, interesting little thing. We'll see that as I'm playing it. The checkered targets score 100 points and advance the yellow lights. Five advance, uh, five advances adds one bonus and scores 500 points. So here are the checkered targets. Cool little spinners. Nothing better than a spinner that's a checkered target, right? <laughs> and buddy, that will go, which might be because my screw's loose, so I might have to tighten it. <laughs> but uh, it, it will, it makes this go too as the target flips over. And when you go past the end, you get 500 points and it gives you a ball. The indicated bonus is scored when the ball enters the red hole or when leaving the play field. So here's the cool part, right? When you get your bonus build up, you can collect it but not lose your ball. So you can go into this hole and go ahead and get your bonus, right? And keep playing. So what that means is if you're good, you can get a crazy high score because the ball doesn't even end. Usually to collect the bonus, you have to lose the ball. And so like you do it here too, whenever it says scores bonus. So whenever you lose the ball, it scores whatever your bonus is, right? But it also says bonus value multiplied when lit. So check this out. Bonus value is 1,000 points on the first ball, 2,000 points on the second ball, and 3,000 points on the third ball, right? So I believe that, I'm pretty sure that holds true too on that red hole. So basically if you're on the third ball and you get 10 balls up there, and you collect them with that hole, you get 30, you get a thousand points for going in the hole, and then you get 30,000 freaking points just for, just for landing in that hole and collecting the bonus. And then you get to do it all over again if you want, if you're good enough. So that's just a really cool feature where you can get the, the score through the roof on this thing. A tilt does not qualify, disqualify a player. Matching the last two numbers in the score to number that appears on back glass after game is over scores one replay. All right, so there you go. So what I'll do is I'll, uh, I will, uh, I'll play it a little bit. And while I'm playing it, I'll try to tilt the camera up so you can see what it's doing with the, uh, with the uh, bonus thing in a couple spots. Uh, so you can see what happens whenever you score the bonus and how the back glass does its thing. And uh, we'll play through it a little bit. You can see how fun this thing is. All right, so I'm gonna play. A, I'm gonna play a game with it, just showing the the back glass, so you can see the balls, the the bonuses as I as I get them. You'll see that usually whenever I think every time you get a ball, you get 500 points, and then as it scores it on the first ball, it's a thousand, second ball is two thousand, third ball is three thousand. So we'll play it a little bit just so you can see that part of it. Whoop! Knocked you out of the way a little bit. There we go. All right. So we'll see if we get any. All right, so that's the yellow hole. So see, that time the yellow hole gave me two balls and 500 points twice. And I got another one because of the spinners. Got another one because of the bottom right left target. Got another one because of the spinners. All right, mystery hole again. So that time the mystery hole gave me three balls. Get some action. Need some action. All right, so it's a red hole, so it's going to score it all. All right, so now I still have the ball in play because you know I scored it without ending the uh, the ball. Red, 
red hole again. Oh, it went in quick enough though that it didn't score the bonus. I might have to look at that. It might not, there's a little switch up there. Maybe it can't tell there's a bonus because there's only one ball. Oh yeah, you see how the ball moved, the other ball moved? All right, so in the ball. So there we go. All right, so you get the gist of it, Seth. Okay, now that you saw the back glass animation, we'll play through it straight a couple times and you can just see how the game plays. You can actually see a reflection of the the um, that light right there. That is that animated thing. So you can kind of watch the balls pop up into there if you would like. straight down the middle you see the ball go by see the ball go by <laughs> oh come on now come on Another neat thing, if you look up at the top, it, um, if you look up at the top, those, the rollover lanes, on the first ball, two of them are lit, on the second ball, three of them are lit, and on the fourth ball, all four of them are lit. All right, so we're going, we scored our bonus, 9,000 points. bounce got the cool spinner shot mm, man that spinner shot is just sweet people yeah give me that bonus <laughs> love it so your left flipper you hit that spinner shot with to try to knock it back up to the top and that right flipper, you hit that <laughs> collect bonus hole. Ooh, about let it get away from me. Oh, man. All right, so I got 48,450 just goofing around. Let's see if we can do a little better. I should be trying to do a skill shot up there at the top instead of just plunging it like that. I'm gonna get better as it goes on. That shot's awesome. You can do it with the right one too, I just don't seem to as much like that. Saved it. Man, my shots are... Oh no, it horseshoot it. You can see too, they've got the spinners at such a height that if you just barely hit it, you don't score anything. But if you hit it enough to flip it all the way around, you score. sleeping on it <laughs> very cool so see how there's see how there's three lit at the top now so you can get the bonus which i'll go ahead and collect thank you appreciate it be back for more oh man the outlane killed me another thing i forgot to mention there's a gate right here so that can open up and then the ball will go out back out here I 
haven't got the mystery the mystery hole yet where you can see how that works. Come on, mystery bonus. Big money, double whammy, triple whammy. Oh man, that left out lane's killing me. I love the sound of that. Dun, 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 dun. It's giving you 3,000 points for each one. Well, I'm going to run out of credits here. Let me put some more on it real quick. All right. All right. All right. Now, where were we? All right. No, oh, a little too much. Ah, I let it slide right by me. I was sleeping, people. I was sleeping. That was just pathetic. The gate, the gate opened, but I needed one over here. and worse but I'm gonna try I'm gonna play again maybe I'll get better and better oh man it's not as fun whenever you don't oh it's not as fun we don't have a bonus to collect and you make that one I mean come on Look, I'm going down the one that's not lit up. And I'm not even getting my mystery bonus. Let's, let's, let's try for that mystery bonus. Come on, get in there. Mm. Needs more mystery bonus. <laughs> oh, oh. That may be the worst game yet. Let's go again. See how right in the center of the play field you can see the back glass, the, the title where it says soccer blinking. They don't, they're, they originally they didn't do that. It was just on solid. But the game doesn't have any kind of a track mode or anything. So we put blinker bulbs in it just because it makes it kind of, you know, have a little something going on. A little trick. Little trick of the trade. Oh boy, I barely saved that one. Ooh. Oh man, I might have, it might be slanted. I'm gonna blame it on the freaking level of the concrete. Obviously the floor is crooked. I need to at least get my mystery bonus so you can see what I'm talking about there. Didn't I get it? Well, I don't think I did yet. Look at that. Not scoring nothing. Just air balls the whole time. Mystery bonus. Come on, get in the... Damn it. <laughs> It is harder to get it through that left, that left flip, that left uh, spinner for some reason. All 
What do you think about that little catch there? There we go. Yeah, buddy. So that time it gave us three balls. All right, I still only got 29,000 points. Let's go again. Hopefully we'll do better. After I talked up how easy it was to get a high score. There we go. Good start. Good start. getting anything this is embarrassing did you see that obviously not level <laughs> look everything on the play field's lit up I ought to be able to score all kinds of points when it's like this hmm. I'm getting like 10 points all right, one last game, people. Here we go. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one you write home to your parents about. Guess what I saw on YouTube? Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Stay away from that damn left out lane. Give me that bonus. Whoop. Whoop. More bonus, please. Whoo! Thought I lost it. I got 8,740 on the first ball. It's a long way to 100,000 from here, folks. Come on, mystery bonus. Ah. gates open that's good yeah give me some of them bonuses i need to go ahead and collect i'm gonna go here we go i'm gonna collect one way or the other <laughs> all right so i'm at twenty five thousand six hundred and sixty. you get a free game for fifty seven thousand. so you'd think i'd be able to do that but no not so far Yeah, mystery bonus. So I got two that time. Explain that. It's a mystery. I don't know how it works. It's kind of cool when you... Uh... cool when you hit those switches from the bottom you know you're not really supposed to be able to do that all right there we go folks. such a cool game i could play it all night but if i did it would probably bore you so we'll just call it a, a game there now by the time you see this game it may not even be available for sale anymore we may have already uh it may have already kicked its way off to somebody else's house but that's cool. You can see all the games that we do have available for sale right now on our website. Go to lionsarcade.com. You can see all of them. 
If you're local, you can stop by and see them all here in person. We're in downtown Rock Hill, South Carolina, and we've got a building with about got a showroom with about 30 games, 40 games at all times. Usually more arcade games, but we have a few pinballs. We usually have a few pinballs sitting around in various states of repair or disrepair. Uh, and if you're not local, so you can't come by, and uh, you don't like anything on the website, so you can't buy, period, that's fine. Just subscribe to us here on YouTube, and every time we get in a cool game like this, we will uh, film a little video of it, show it off to our fans, and make sure you leave your comments below, and make sure to give our video a thumbs up. That really helps us. And uh, let us know what you think below, and if you've ever played this thing before, and we will see you on the next video.